This video is to show the final few steps in assembling the main part of the bag. So now that we've got all of our basic bag pieces made, we've got an outside bag, we've got a flap, a strap, and a lining portion of the bag. Now it's time to add those pieces together and figure out where they go. So first in preparation to put everything together, I'm going to attach my flap and my strap to the outer portion of my bag. So I've got my outside portion of my bag here, my flap, and then my strap is hanging out right here. So I need to know now what is the front and the back of my bag. So I had already decided that I was going to put the pocket on the front portion of the bag that will later be hidden by the flap. So I want to turn it to the back side of the bag. It's really important that you know your back from your front here. So this is the back side of my bag that I'm ready to attach my flap to. So here's my flap. My flap is the same front and back. It's fashion fabric on the front and the back. Um, and some bags, the way the pattern indicates, will be fashion on one side and then lining on the opposite side. It's really up to you. I chose to cut two of the same to have it all look the same. But I want to know, again, the front or the back portion of my flap. So my fashion side, the part that I want to be out, wants to lay right side to right side to the back portion of my bag. So if I had cut this of lining, you would be seeing mustard yellow right now hanging off the back of the bag and then the fashion would be underneath up against the back of the bag so that's really important to make sure that you understand the difference so you're laying, laying the front of the flap to the back of the bag then you want to match up your flap with the seam so this is the seam that attaches the back to the side I want to match my flap up to that seam and then come to the opposite side and do the same. So it's going right up to the seam. It should sit in between those seams. And then I just want to go around and pin through all the layers. So the two flap layers and the the back side of my bag to get everything matched up. Then I'm going to machine sew. So you can do a regular machine stitch or you could do a basting stitch on the machine which is turning up your stitch length because we're going to get this flap onto the back of the bag and then remove our pins. It will then be sewn once more when I'm ready to assemble the bag entirely. So there'll be another step that sews on top of this. That's why you can use a basting stitch that's temporary because it will be re-sewn, reinforced. Okay, so I've got my flap pinned to the back side of my bag. The front side of my bag is still free and the flap is just kind of hanging off the back right now. Now I want to grab my strap piece. So this is my pre-assembled strap piece that I made in earlier videos. And you can see in this one, I have done it the way, the way that the pattern indicated in that I sewed one side in fashion and one side in lining. So you can see the mustard yellow lining there. This will be a little easier for you to visualize now that on the side piece, so here's the edge of my flap on the back of my bag, but on the side piece, I want to match up my strap piece. So it's going to sit in between the seams on the side. And again, I'm matching up the fashion or front side of my strap with my bag piece. So I'm looking at the wrong side or the lining. Whatever you want to show on the outside needs to be facing your bag as you attach it. This will all get sewn and then this will eventually flip up that way. Then make sure that you don't twist this strap, that it 
stays flat, that you don't do anything strange to it because if you twist it in this step when you attach it to the opposite side, then it's going to have a permanent twist. So don't twist it, let it be flat. And then you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. You're going to match it up to the side portion of the bag here. It should sit right in between your seams and you're going to pin it in place. Now you're going to sew everything or baste everything into place so that the flap and the strap are attached to the outer portion of your bag before you put the lining on. So I'm gonna zoom, zoom into my machine here, turn it on. If you wish to do a basting stitch, you can do that by changing your stitch length here. You can also just do an ordinary stitch. You don't ever intend it to come apart. The key to what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to sew it a little shallower than my seam allowance. Um, so that this stitch that I'm putting in right now just to get it into place is going to be hidden when I sew it one more time. So I'm actually moving it over a little bit from my half inch line. So this is really at three eighths. It's a little greater than a quarter inch, which would be here. And it sits in between that quarter inch and half inch. So at three eighths of an inch, I'm going to sew across my flap and my strap. And again, I don't necessarily have to backstitch here. This is just getting it in place so that I can later sew over it another time. And again, because these all line up, I can kind of do it all in one go. Or I could do them separately if I wished. But why not kill two birds or three birds with one stone and sew across the whole thing. Okay. Now my flap and my strap are attached to the outer portion of my bag, I can remove all my pins and these will stay in place as I begin to assemble the final step of the bag. 